these fish over here on that bank on that side. And this is that north bank we're talking about. We just came out of some almost white cap water just across some north wind. But what we're looking for is banks that's sheltered today as much as we can. And that's pretty much a school of fish all down through there. They're just kind of hanging on that bank. This could be good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and mark those. We may be able to bobber fish them in a little bit. You see we're only in four foot of water here and, and we run out of it. When we got out of probably six to eight foot of water, it seemed like we run out of them there for a brief time. So we're gonna go ahead and, and kind of check out this cove as far as we can and just see if there's still fish back in here. I don't know if there's shad back in here or not. If I start seeing shad, I still feel like we might be able to find some fish back in the back. Okay, we're getting close to him there. Oh, here comes one. There he goes. I saw him come up. That's how it works. Okay, my bobber's sitting right above him right now. This is my bobber and that's my jig. We're gonna see if one of the fish wants to come up again and entertain us on another one here. These fish are deeper than what I've got my set at, but that one came up quite a ways to get it. I've changed my setting on the Mega Live to 20 degree because what you're seeing here this is the surface that's the water surface I'm purposely doing this angle so that I can kind of keep track of my bobber and I want it to come and just stop somewhere over near the top of that structure right there so this is going to be our attack plan this is some brush and there's some crappie right there it looks like they're down about eight foot to the top of them. I got my spot marked visually, so. There he is. We're on them now. These schools of fish in the wintertime, they'll just be out here roaming around and you just have to kind of catch up with them. And these happen to be hanging around a little bit of brush there, but there's a lot of times these fish are just out here in open water and they can be anywhere and that's where electronics come into play. You can just go around till you get them spotted and then start working on them so you can get them to bite. Pretty solid fish too. So far all these have been pretty nice fish. That itty bit. Got another one. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a good quality crappie here on our lake. Check that out. <laughs> Lucky day, buddy. There he is, he just wiggled it just a little bit. Oof. This guy's a good fighter, he's a pretty good fish. I think that's a black crappie, yep it is. Sure enough, we got the black and the white out of there. 
Uh, he ate it too. He wanted that thing. Check that out. Little black crappie are good fighters. They're kind of like a Kentucky bass in the bass world in the smallmouth. They just seem like they're they're a little broader. They got a uh, when they get sideways too, they can fight pretty hard. Got another one. It's keeper. Good eating size. And he tore up my bait. Let's get a new bait. That one's blue ice, so I'm gonna go back to the blue ice color. I like to put a little drop of super glue on these. They're so small, these baits are so small, there's not a whole lot to them. So I wanna give it all I can to hold that bait on as long as I can. Smear it around a little bit. Make a couple adjustments with it. And game on. Well, when I'm bobber fishing, uh, there's a, a lot of bobbers out there that'll work. This one's pretty cheap bobber. It's just a little styrofoam bobber that's got lead on the bottom of it, which you got to have, a, uh, in my opinion anyway, you got to have some kind of a little bit of weight to your bobber, which that keeps that upright. Because sometimes when there's those crappie hit, they'll just take it sideways, and what you'll see is you'll see that bait and that bobber actually is going that direction and it, it'll turn that bobber sideways. But if it was just laying there flat in the water, it's a little harder to detect. So the deal is with these, they're adjustable on your line. If you're fishing real deep, you need to go with a slip bobber and you can do a slip bobber and go as deep as you actually want to go. But in most cases when I'm bobber fishing, I'm fishing six foot or less. In this case, I'm down about five. Probably, I'm gonna say I am down to we're somewhere around the four, four and a half foot range, and it's working, so I'm not changing it. Here we go. I've kind of lost my angle. I see it over there. The wind has turned us, there it is, so, so I'm still in the right zone. Not a big fish, but keeperish. Another black crappie. Oh, he clamped down on it right when I was pulling it out and I pulled the tail off of it. But I'm going to go ahead and try it without the tail on it and see if they still hit it. There's a lot of times, oh, he hit it. I've seen times whenever my baits pretty much tore up and, and it seemed like I can still catch fish on them. It's just that profile that looks right. It's got that design that looks like a, a little minnow, a little shed. He had it way down in there too. So, we know it still works. If you see that bobber where it's at right now, a lot of times, oh, I didn't get the chance to do it, but a lot of times if you give it a, a little a little pull and let it settle down, a lot of times whenever it's settling down is, is when, uh, when they bite it. It's either. That fish was a good fighter for his size. Let me see if I can get a chance to do this this time. I feel like I've thrown past where the fish are at right there. And so I'm gonna bring that bobber. I'm just dragging it my way about four or five feet and I'm stopping it. Now it's just settling down and it's gonna settle down and come to a stop. And a lot of times right when it comes to that stop, those fish will come up and eat it. 
There we go. We're right in the strike zone again. We'll see if they're still playing. Oh, there he was. I was getting ready to pull it in and he took it down and I missed him. But that's a good tactic to pull it a little ways and then let it settle down. There he is. These fish are moving around a little bit, so you just got to keep up with them with electronics. Lost them for a minute there, but we got them found again. There he is. Yeah, they're definitely moving. So he'll tore up any bit, still catching them. I'm gonna go ahead and change it out and put on a new one. 